what kind of test did you do? So I fired shots using the firearm and ammunition recovered from the Duffy residence into a skin simulant. Uh, in this case, I used a cotton cloth material. And I fire shots at known distances. And what I'm trying to do is duplicate the stippling pattern that I observed on the decedent's head. So in this case, I'm going to fire one shot uh, within six inches of this cloth. So you can see what I've created here is a, a dense gunpowder particle pattern and I can then measure the diameter of this pattern and compare it to the stippling pattern on the decedent's head. It's almost like a bullseye if I... Yeah, so what we see here is, is smoke uh, combined with the gunpowder particles. So farther away, you'd have a different pattern. That's correct. So uh, this time I'm going to fire at a distance of greater than one foot. And what we will see is that the gunpowder particle pattern is larger and more diffuse. So you can see here there's a noticeable difference in the gunpowder particle size and density. And so how far do you think she was? When I conducted my testing, I determined that the muzzle of the firearm was between a distance of one and seven inches from his head. Uh, specifically, I produced a pattern that most resembled the pattern on the decedent's head uh, at about three to five inches.